What's up everyone, Nexi here with another Get Better Fast tutorial brought to you by Old Spice. Now this time we're going to see how Carbon dominates Capture the Flag on Narrows. In Narrows Capture the Flag, players have to cross a long platform with very little cover to reach their opponent's base. Once they grab the flag, they have to bring it all the way back to finish the capture. The biggest mistake amateur players make on Narrows is to underestimate the importance of controlling top middle. Controlling top middle is a great way to contain the enemy to their base and it's also the best position to clear out the bottom half of the map. This game is from the Las Vegas Winter Bracket Finals where Carbon dominated straight ripping by controlling top middle and making smart rushes for the flag. Although this is very late into the game and Carbon already leads 2-1, to one, it's a relatively neutral situation where both teams have all their players alive and no one controls top middle. Gosayami is the key player in this flag run. First he finds Rocket's top center and uses it to kill snipe down. Notice how he uses the ramp as cover to get an extra moment to put shots on the other members of Straight Ripping before beating down Elamite. When the battle for top mid is over, three members of Straight Ripping are dead and only Captain Anarchy and Ghost Ayami are left from Carbon. The two take advantage of the situation by quickly charging the enemy flag. Both of them initially head to the flag side of the base, but once it becomes clear that the enemy isn't spawning there, Ghost moves to the sniper spawn to establish a choke point and gives Anarchy time to run the flag bottom middle. When Shockwave and Nated respawn, their task is to establish top middle control. Shockwave first takes out T-squared, and then both Shockwave and Nated switch their attention to Snipe Down, who has just launched their base over the man cannon. In most CTF games, clearing out your base of the enemy takes precedence over anything else. Although both of them die before they can kill him, Ghost has been quietly pushing up through bottom middle and has a clear shot on Snipe Down. After getting the kill, Ghost grabs the flag and runs it in for the final capture. All right, let's recap the play. If most of the enemy team is dead and top middle control has been established, make a quick push for the flag. If you have grenades, throw them at the back of the flag. This can prevent the enemy team from spawning there. The person without the power weapon should run the flag, and the person with it should establish a perimeter around the flag runner. The sniper spawn is a great choke point to hold. You can grenade the entrance to stall players from entering or weaken any that do. You should run the flag through bottom middle. It's the fastest route with the most cover. Your teammates should first clear out your base, then establish top middle control. Be prepared to defend the man cannon landing pad, since that's the way desperate enemies will try to make a last ditch effort to prevent a capture. Thanks for checking out this edition of Get Better Fast. I hope you guys learned something from Carbon and their strat for CTF Narrows. Make sure to check out more Get Better Fast tips from Old Spice and MLG here on MLGPro.com.